We have a few hours to kill before the next number, so we left the girls with Abby and we went out for a mom's lunch. Where's Melissa? Why does she come with us? You know? What are we gonna do about her? Melissa's been very on edge lately. She still won't talk about her engagement. And then there was that whole blow up at the studio. It's just, the whole thing is just very uncomfortable. I just never know where I stand. Like, do I say this, do I not say that? I don't think I say anything particularly offensive. Well, I'm just confused. Can we discuss? About being around the bush? I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I'm gonna ask you flat out. Did you people get a letter too? Okay, I was waiting for someone to bring up the letter. All of the moms received a letter from an attorney saying to cease and desist discussion of Melissa's personal life. What attorney would pen that letter? You got a letter? You got a letter? I'm I just glad I was the only person to get the letter. I can't believe that she sent a letter to all of us from an attorney that was hired to say that we're not allowed to discuss her personal life. If she's supposed to be our friend. Who does that? What friend sends you a letter from And an then attorney? if you do talk about it, she threatens to sue you. Like, friends don't sue friends. Nope. She talks about talk sex about it like it's opinion. nothing, but apparently marriage is taboo. I thought it was backwards. I didn't think around. it was off limits. Nobody sues somebody no else one does about that. talking about a normal thing. Yeah. My feelings are really hurt by this. I mean, I've been friends with Melissa for a long time, and I love her kids like they're my own. All I wanted to do was talk to her and find out what the problem was. I mean, I'm confused. She only wants people to see one side of her. If anybody knows the true Melissa, it's us. We've seen all sides of Melissa. The good, the bad, and the sneaky. Well, I'm incredibly offended by that. I I'm think we upset. should say something to her about it when she comes in. I think I mean, we should. That's not something you just brush under the rug and don't discuss. We need to keep trying to I wonder if she's gonna walk in here chipper like nothing's ever happened. They come in and have lunch with three people who just sued, and now like everything's she normal. She didn't sue us, she threatened to sue us. Either. Okay, she threatened to sue us. I mean, really. Our hair's Melissa coming now. Hi guys. Hey. I was in a rush and I was running late. I just need a drink. Drink, drink, drink. Well, we have to bring up an awkward subject, Melissa. What? The letter. From the attorney that we all got. It wasn't from me. It's from his attorney, not my okay. attorney. As Melissa saying, oh, I didn't send that letter. I don't know what that letter is. It's typical Melissa behavior. She never takes responsibility for her own actions and she deflects onto something else. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I even felt a sense of betrayal, just to be honest, because That's Mike, I can't believe most of you are that upset that you that I would get something from an attorney. But like I said, I didn't send it.